So this particular CNC lesson, we are going to be talking about the six inch hole that gets placed into your cornhole board top. So we're gonna create a new file and our thickness is gonna be a half inch. The width of the platform is 24. The height is 48. So right now, you may or may not realize it, but that material doesn't fit on the CNC machine, okay? The max of the CNC machine is basically 20. You can make it work at 26, but basically 24 by 32 is kind of the line for it. Anybody have any concept? What can you think of how we might make this work? We are, but how, like, how would we put our material on? How would we? Huh? Yeah, so Trenton is on the right idea. So I am actually going to make my material size 24 by 24, okay? So if this is my machine bed and this is my piece of plywood, Half of the piece of plywood is going to hang out into the classroom, okay? We will then tell the machine that we want this to be the start point. So we're going to start at that top right-hand corner. We're changing that start point, okay? Then we would place our circle in. So... A uh, real quick reflection on the flow charts. Many of you still needed a lot more detail or just needed to do the assignment in general. I think, and a couple of you asked me about your flow charts and I said, yes, you have it. Mrs. Martin wasn't thinking about all the details, but one of you did place the location of the circle. So thank you, good job. So you do need to know where that location is and the radius. And of course, when you're doing this for real, you would want to place it correctly. So if we use the circle command, we know it's a six inch radius, correct? Okay. I don't know what the points are offhand, but you can set this X and Y point. So your X and Y are both gonna be negative because you're going this way and this way because it's based on the start point. Does that make a little bit of sense? So once your circle is placed, let's talk about the toolpath that you're going to use because you guys are very familiar with using the V-carved toolpath. We don't want to do the V-carved toolpath. We are going to be doing a profile toolpath. Our cut depth is going to be 0.5 because we're going to go the whole way through. You are going to be using a quarter inch in mill bit. Um, no, END. And I'll tell you what this in versus out means in a second. So it is important, and it has to do with which way your circle was drawn. But yeah, right now, if I were to cut this, my hole would be larger than six inches because my bit is running on the outside. I'm going to run to the inside. So now that should truly be six inches. You need to look. The series of arrows right here should be to the inside of your bit, the inside of your circle. So after I get to here, I would do my calculate my preview, and I can see that it's taken all my material away. Do you see how that's different than your V-carve? All right, does that make, that make sense? So that'll be, that'll be different. This should be pretty simplistic for you to set up, but then think about what else is going on your cornhole boards, okay? So... I know I showed some of you the picture. I need to upload the picture, but I have antlers right here. So I did that design right on my circle. I did that as the same design. 
Then I had a second CNC file that I ran that was the bottom of my CNC board. So I did it in two different programs. So think about that as you're working with your CNC for your cornhole boards. Sound good?